Hello everyone. Yeah, I'm here to, you know, tell you how most of the homes and offices, okay, link their network or office to internet using fiber. Okay, it is called fiber to the home, FTTH. Okay, when you look at this, um, you know, topology here, network structure, you see this is, okay, this is telecommunication, you know, office, central office, CO. Okay, so this is their core network where you have layer three switches and routers, okay? Now connect to the internet. Now from there, because they know that this is fiber optics network, they are gonna link some homes, okay, using fiber because they are the internet service providers. So I just want to let you know the way these things are being done as an engineer. Okay, so now they link this network here to this optical light terminal. This is fiber device, a device called optical light terminal. You connect to, you know, fiber interfaces on a switch. Okay, now this is the light source. Now from here, from this optical light terminal, okay, they spliced, they spliced a fiber. They split fiber cables, trans, okay? Because this is a fiber optic cable. Inside this cable, there are fiber strands. Remember the day I showed you about, I showed you about fiber optic cable. I showed you fiber optic cable, okay? So the fiber core, which transmits light, okay? That looks like a glass tube, okay? Is the strands. This is the, that's the core part of fiber, okay? So now, this is the fiber link, fiber optic cable. Inside this cable, there are a lot of fiber optic strands that, you know, they link it underground from here to where in a street, you know? You know, most times, you are going in an estate or in a street, you see some white frames that is, that is called optical distribution frames okay optical distribution frame where this cable we enter when it entered you will see a kind of fiber trees with fiber connectors okay that is in a pair of cables transmit receive Okay, so this trans of fiber, most times this fiber cable we house about 250 strands of fibers. Okay, so when they enter this switch, this is a frame where you have, you know, also pigtail fibers. Okay, so they, they will be spliced together. The strands that is coming from this cable and the strands, the pigtail that's coming from connector, they will use a special machine, you know, to link, to splice it, okay? To splice those fibers together. The one coming from the optical distribution frame, and the one, so the fiber, they don't just join fiber cable anyhow, no. It is being spliced, okay? So now, from here, they now run, a drop cable, this drop cable only has two strands, transmit, receive, okay? And it, they will link it to customer's house. There is a device inside customer home called optical network terminal, okay? And this drop cable has a special connector that we plug from here, okay? From optical distribution frame to optical light terminal. And this fiber is coming from optical line terminal, okay? This is the light source. When data that is coming from the core network, okay, from the core network enters here, if that data 
is converted to this light, a kind of lesser light, and the source of that light is this, light source, okay, fiber light source. This will generate a kind of lesser, transmitting, you know, converting those data or video, audio data that is coming from core network into lesser. And remember, when it enters here, it will go through the fiber cable. And it can go more than 100 kilometers. And this light, remember, is a speed of light. The, the speed of this data from here to here is a speed of light within microseconds. Okay? The information we get here. And that is why fiber optic network is more expensive, okay, than most of the okay, other uh, you know, types of network. Okay? When you see fiber link, a network using fiber link is more expensive than other type of types of network. Okay? So that is it. This is drop cable. This is called drop cable. It has two strands, transmit, receive, okay, to here. And inside this optical distribution frame, there are a lot of fiber trees, okay, and fiber pigtails. Most times, 250 fiber pigtails and 250 fiber optic strands from this cable spliced together. Now, to create a link where you can, you know, connect drop cable that have just two strands to and link it to customer's home, optical distribution, uh, optical network terminal. From this optical network terminal, you link your router. Okay, you link your router. Here you can, you know, play switch and do your network, run your cables, and they are connected. Very high speed internet access. Okay, so that is just the way it works. Okay, if you like this video, do not hesitate to share. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you.